Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you about a new feature that appeared in Cinema 4D 2024.1 and allows you to create a custom new default scene. What is a default scene, you may ask? Well, this is what we are used to seeing whenever we create a new document. And if I create a new document, you'll see it's an empty scene with certain attributes. It's empty and everything is as you see. What if you want to create a scene that contains something that you use very often? For example, materials, objects, different settings, and things like that. Go to Edit and Preferences, or Control or Command E if you're on a Mac, and you will see that where it says Files, over here, down here we have a new startup group, and it says Default Scene. Blank is what we've had all along, with the specific settings, uh, 30 FPS, uh, 90 frames duration, uh, empty material list, and so forth. But now we have the following options. You can click and generate the logo scene. The logo scene is a scene that's been made by Maxon, and it has a Maxon logo. I'm creating a new file, and you can see that this new scene now has objects, it has materials, it has different frames per second. So this is the first option you may choose to have. The other option is to go and create a custom scene. And in here, you can go and select a scene you want. In this particular case, I've created a stage object and uh, several other things. And now if I create a new document, I'm gonna get my own default scene which has a certain light setup, it has a certain frames per second, it has some materials, a camera, and some objects, a sphere and a floor. Additionally, this scene also has some custom render settings. So the general principle is that anything that can be saved within a Cinema 4D project file can become your default scene. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.